Hey guys, I'm back with uh, the second part of my PSA reveal. Uh, there'll be a part three at least, uh, just from this first group of cards I got back. And then there's some more cards that should be in the next couple of weeks. That'll be part four. Um, and then we'll go from there. Anyway, so without further ado, I'm gonna kind of pick up where I left off. If uh, those of you who saw the first video, uh, PSA returned these to me sort of as a group of uh, three mini boxes, this first set. So I'm gonna put these cards out just like I had before. This is blind to me. So I'm gonna keep it that way and we're gonna see how we did. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. First is, um, this is an Arix Kirilov. Uh, this is numbered out of five. And uh, let's take a look at it. Got a 10, very nice. Got a 10. I have the Superfractor of this same card uh, that I don't believe is back yet that I'm waiting on, but this is nice to get a 10. This kid hurt his wrist. Um, he's had surgery, he's had a few things going on. Twins sent him down, brought him back up. They shut him down finally and put him on the injured reserve toward the end of the season. I'm just hoping against hope that um, that he gets right because he's a hell of a hitter. He really has everything you need. He's got a beautiful swing. If he can get the wrist right, hopefully he comes back strong next year. Uh, next up is uh, oh, this is Answer Thompson. This is out of um, this is out of uh, OTE. This is out of Topps Chrome OTE. This is a uh, an auto. Very nice. This is an auto. Got a ten. I'm trying to remember what this was. I thought this was a low numbered auto. I guess not. There is a low numbered auto somewhere of his bouncing around, but I got a 10. This is um, Aaron Judge, as you can see. Oh, yikes, got an eight. Oh, that's not good. This is his gold, it's a rookie. Hmm, okay, that's more than a little disappointing. All right, next up, oh, here we go. Here's another one of my uh, my son's cards. This is from Garbage Pail Sapphire Edition. These are modern Garbage Pail kids. It's a Stormy Heather, whoever that is, to gold, numbered to, I think these are numbered to 15. Yeah, it's 15 out of 15, and it got a nine. Believe it or not, these have some pretty good value to them, so we'll hold on to that and get that in his collection. Here's a Tyrese Maxey Silver Rookie. Wow. Which also got an eight. Man, this, uh, this grader must not have been having a good day. Okay, well, that's disappointing. Uh, here's Marcelo Mayer. Okay, that got a 10. That's out of Bowman Sapphire, Bowman Draft Sapphire. That's a first. Hopefully this kid turns into the shortstop of the future for them. This is a Justin Fields out of Clearly, number to 99. He looks awful. <laughs> I don't know how much longer he's going to be the Bears quarterback, so we'll see what goes on. That got a nine. Uh, here's some more Henry Davis. If you remember from my first video, I got kind of wrapped up in the hype. That's a refractor. Got a nine. I don't really care about that card. It's a Brady House. I think this kid's going to be good. Another refractor. Also got a nine. Uh, There's a Steph Curry, a low number Steph Curry out of Obsidian. This is from 2020. I really like this to 10. Let's take a look, see what we got. Ay, another nine. All right, well, these are really, really hard to 10. I'm not gonna be that upset about that. Uh, here's another Mellow Prism. Um, silver, I, if I'm being honest, I hate LaMelo Ball. Can't stand his entire family. I think his father at some point is just going to blow them all up. But still, I was hoping for a 10. Another 9 it is. We'll put that in the 9 pile. Um, is Justin Herbert. 
This is a silver premier level. Very nice. At a select, we'll take that. I have a lot of faith in Justin Herbert. This is a Phoenician. So this is a die cut. I think this is a case hit out of Phoenix. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we got an eight. Hmm. All right, well, die cut cards, especially thick die cut cards, sometimes have a problem. An eight it is. That aside, uh, Jalen Hurts. I mean, there's six and oh, the Eagles. This is numbered to 99. It's out of, um, is that a Chronicles Legacy? It's an auto, which got a 10. Very nice. Good. 10's nice to have. Uh, here's a Jordan Alvarez Kaboom. This is out of Absolutes. So these aren't licensed, but they're still Kabooms, and they still sell. They still have value. And it got a 10. Alvarez just hit a huge home run uh, in the Astros series against the Mariners in Game 1 to walk off. Here's Javante Williams. This is this was a shame. Of course, Javante tore his, uh, I think he tore his ACL and his MCL. So he's done for the year. He's a running back. Who knows how he comes back from that, if he comes back from that. This is that a 75? Got a 10. I mean, it's a beautiful card, but who knows? This is definitely a hold, obviously. All right. And we got Justin Fields again. 10 out of 10. It's an auto. Got a 6? I mean, thank goodness that's on a Fields, because I don't think it's going to be worth that much anyway. But a 6? How does a modern card out of a pack get a 6? There is absolutely nothing wrong with this card. That can't be right. That's got to be a mistake. That's got to be a mistake. I'm going to have to reach out to PSA. That's got to be a mistake. That, that grade's insane. On a modern card, pack fresh modern card... Where the centering's good, the edges and corners look good. There's nothing wrong with this card. There's no surface damage. That's crazy. That may be the lowest grade I've ever gotten from a modern card sent to PSA. That really may be the lowest grade I've ever gotten. And I've graded some of the old Metal Universe stuff, which is impossible to grade, and gotten better grades than this. That that I'll put that one aside. That's got to go back to PSA and we have to figure out what's going on. Here's another Justin Herbert. This one's good. Raider Rookie Hollow. It's a 10. I'm usually pretty good at taking a look at these and getting an idea of what they're going to get, or at least to be into the ballpark. I'm still a little shaken by that six. I don't go in the 10 pile. Here's another Pokemon card, which obviously belongs to my son. And... I don't know what a hound dune is necessarily, but it got a nine. I'm not going to go too deep into that. Here's another one. Jack, this is for you if you're watching. Uh, this is a Pokemon Sylveon VMAX Evolving Skies Secret something or other. It got a 10. So there you go, buddy. Hope you're happy. This will go in your collection. There's a 10 for you. Um... Here's another LeBron uh, Kobe tribute. Oh, this is the red, white, and blue. Uh, this one got a nine. If you remember from the last video, the silver of his, of this got a 10. Uh, we'll take a nine. We're not happy about it. Oh, here's an older Pokemon card, a Charizard that came from my son. I think this is an actual, I think this is from the 90s, this card. Yeah, 99. I got an eight. I'm not entirely sure if that's a bad or a good grade, but I'm assuming tens are what you're looking for, of course. Um, but Jack, there's another one for you. All right, here's an Anthony Edwards. Um, it's a purple shock. I got a nine. Hmm, these are tough sometimes. Uh, here's another Bane. I'm, I'm really high on Bane. This one's numbered to 299. I got an eight. Man, alive. I'll tell you, these grades, I don't know. Some of them are really disappointing and, and just puzzling. All right, there's an 8 for that Bane. Here's another Justin Herbert. Got a 10. This is just the base out of Optic, um, but I got a 10, which is nice. Here's a uh, Mac Jones. Oh, okay. 
This is out of Panini Rookie and Stars. It got a 10. I don't know if this is numbered or if this is just, I think it's just an insert. Um, the way Bailey Zappi's playing, I don't know if Mac Jones gets back on the field. I mean, he may be, uh, I mean, not that he had that kind of, um, that kind of standing, but he may be the Bledsoe to, to, to Brady, uh, with the way Zappi's playing. I'll tell you, he's playing, he's playing great and, and Belichick really seems to like him. So who knows where Mac Jones fits in now? Um, next is a Jordan McCants. This is the yellow, number 299. Got a nine. Not thrilled. Uh, this is a Tom Brady. This is the Gladiator insert. Oh, these are really stuck together. This one doesn't want to come apart. Um, well, let's just take a look at it. I've got a nine. You know, is that a contender? Is it's low numbered? It was number 299. Any Brady that's got a number on it, I'm going to grade just like I do with Steph, just like I do with LeBron or Luca. You grade those cards. You hope for a 10. You hope for the best. Here's Mac Jones. This was an aura out of uh, Spectra, numbered to 75. Again, future uncertain, but I got a 10. So I'll take it. Again, these are always tough out of Spectra to 10, so I'm happy to get it. Uh, Jackson Job. We'll see what his career becomes. But again, a lot of hype over Jackson Job, just like there was with Henry Davis. Um... This is an auto, good, chrome auto, came back at 10, that's his first. The kid starts pitching like he's supposed to, uh, maybe that maybe that works out. Um, here's an Anthony Edwards um, out of Spectra. Uh, again, this sh should be numbered. Oh, it's just the Asia Red, okay, not numbered, and it got a nine. Okay, not fantastic, we'll take it. Uh, here's a Pat Williams. I think this was, yeah, this is number to 149. This kid, I think, is going to be great this year. I think he's going to have a really big bounce back year. The wrist derailed him. His card values dove. Um, I think I picked this up. I don't think I pulled this card. And it got a nine. The white prism got a nine. All right. You know, I'll live with it. I didn't pay much for that card. And the last one is Anthony Volpe. I actually just saw somebody pull a... Uh, a red to 15 of this card, which is a big card. That's got a nine. Doesn't have a tremendous amount of value. He he has surpassed Jason Dominguez as, as the number one prospect in the Yankees organization, so we'll see. They're all young. We'll see how it pans out. It's definitely a hold um, at a nine, but that's it. That's the second, uh, the second box out of that PSA sub. Third box, uh, judging by what I'm not, what I've not seen yet, the third box is going to have a couple of monsters in it. Uh, there's a big Kate Cunningham rookie auto, and there's another Jalen Suggs auto, which is really, really cool. I'm not going to spoil it for you and tell you what it is. Um, and there's a great story behind where they both came from, which I'll tell in the next video. So uh, I'll see everybody next time. Please hit the like button, subscribe. And drop a comment if you have any questions, if there's anything you see that you like that you might want to uh, make a deal on, a trade, or you want to buy something, let me know. My entire collection, with the exception of a few things, are always up for grabs. And uh, catch you next time. All right. Bye.